Hello students, welcome to An Academy. I'm Krishna Verma, your educator, and in today's lesson, I'm going to discuss about the effects of different variables on delay period in compression ignition engine. Uh, the delay period is generally increase or decrease, or we can say the delay period is changed on the basis of changes in these variable. So I will discuss how these variable affect the delay period. So let's start uh, our lesson. These are the contents of today's lesson. I will discuss the variables which affect the delay period as well as uh, the description of these variables, uh, how these variables affect the delay period in compression ignition engine. So let's start our lesson. Generally, as you already know, this delay period is called ignition delay and uh, this is the first phase of combustion in uh, compression ignition engine and this delay period is the time between the in start of injection to the start of ignition when the injection start to when the ignition start or uh, from uh, start of injection to the start of uncontrolled combustion is called the ignition delay or delay period and we consider generally lots of factors or lots of variable which affect the delay period uh, during the combustion in compression ignition engine and these are the variables these variables are fuel injection pressure, uh, injection advance angle, compression ratio, intake pressure, water cooling jacket temperature, fuel temperature, intake pressure, engine speed, engine size, air fuel ratio and types of combustion chamber. These are the variable which affect the uh, uh, delay period or we can say the delay period increase or decrease on the basis of these variable or uh, with the change of these variable the delay period is also changed. So let's start the description of these variable I will start with the fuel. Here fuel in terms of fuel we can say the fuel which is used in compression ignition engine is diesel engine so for diesel engine we generally consider the C10 number so if there is an increase in C10 number we consider if the C10 number of the fuel is increased it will reduce the delay period if we increase the C10 number it will automatically reduce the delay period and it cause smoother engine operation also and uh, we generally consider the C10 number is depends upon the chemical composition of the fuel. This uh, C10 number depends on the chemical composition of the fuel. Now second one is, second factor is the injection pressure. So in this uh, we generally know the fuel comes in the form of droplets from the fuel injector and if we are considering those droplets are very small in size. So because of this small size it has lesser relative velocity and this lesser relative velocity will result the partial suffocation by its own combustion product as I already explained and the second thing is uh, in this uh, in terms of inflammation of area uh, or we can say uh, because of inflammation uh, if we consider this inflammation or larger inflammation when droplets are small so because of this it comes in larger quantity because of this inflammation these droplets are small and it comes in larger quantity. So if it is coming in larger quantity the pressure rise will be increased during this condition. Now uh, just opposite if we consider the larger droplets are coming out uh, during the injection period or from fuel injector so because of that the rate of burning is slow in this condition because of larger droplets the rate of burning will slow so uh, as per the size if we consider the size of the droplet is uh, always depends upon the injection pressure so here we can say uh, there is an increase in injection pressure will reduce the delay period increase in injection pressure is always reduce the delay period and it create greater volume ratio and less physical delay so this was about the injection pressure third one is injection advance angle see this delay period is always increases with injection advance angle 
Why? Because uh, during injection, when the injection begin, the pressure and temperature is always lower. As we know, the pressure and temperature is less or lower when the injection start. So because of that, when uh, uh, the this uh, injection advance angle increases, the delay period will automatically increases with that. And uh, uh, if delay period increases because of this, it directly or it automatically affect the performance of the engine. Now next is compression ratio. Uh, see, uh, as we know, the increase in compression ratio is all, uh, is, uh, it is, uh, if we increase the compression ratio during the process, it always reduce the delay period. This is well known. If we increase the compression ratio, it will reduce the delay period and this compression ratio is related to efficiency as, as I already told you, the increase in compression ratio always increase the efficiency. So if the efficiency is increasing, so that efficiency increasing only because the delay period is reducing. So if we increase the compression ratio, it will always reduce the delay period and and this is happening only because when the temperature and density both increases. So because of this, the compression ratio will increase. Because of increase in compression ratio, the efficiency will increase. And because of that, the delay period will drop. And uh, in that condition, the self-ignition temperature will also drop. And this delay period is always related to self-ignition temperature. Next one is the intake temperature. Uh, generally, we consider the increase in intake temperature will uh, result increase in compressed air temperature. If we increase the intake temperature, it will automatically result or it will auto uh, because of this, the compressed air temperature will automatically increase. So this result reduce in delay period. So we can say increase in intake pressure will reduce the delay period. Next point is intake pressure. The next point is intake pressure. Generally, we say uh, the increase in intake pressure will reduce the delay period. See why? The, uh, if we increase the intake pressure, if the pressure at the time of intake will increase, it will reduce the self-ignition temperature. So because of that, the delay period will reduce. See, uh, this intake pressure is generally related to pressure of air. Uh, at the time of intake or suction stroke, only air comes into the cylinder. So if, if the pressure of the air increases, it means the more amount of air is coming during the intake stroke or suction stroke. So we are getting more oxygen to burn the fuel. If we are getting more fuel during injection, so because of increase intake pressure we get more air to burn that particular uh, fuel so because of that the delay period will reduce and uh, they uh, we generally consider because of that the performance of the engine will automatically increase so increase in pressure will reduce the delay period next is fuel temperature increase in fuel temperature would also decrease uh, both physical and chemical delay and if both physical and chemical delay are, delay period is decreasing it means the overall delay period is decreasing next is water cooling jacket temperature we generally consider the increase in water cooling jacket temperature increase the compressed air temperature because of this water cooling jacket temperature increase the compressed air temperature will increase so if the compressed air temperature is increasing it means uh, the delay period will reduce so it will uh, we can uh, say increase in water jacket temperature will reduce the delay period next point is engine speed or speed of the engine so in this uh, with increase in the speed if we increase the speed so with the increase in the speed in a particular uh, period the heat loss during the compression of the air will be decreased because of increase in speed the uh, the uh, heat loss during that particular stage uh, in the compression of the air it will decrease and it result the increase in uh, temperature and pressure increase in temperature and pressure so if the pressure and temperature increasing, it result lower ignition delay or it will reduce the delay period. And this condition we are considering for the absolute time and in, or in, we can say in terms of millisecond. But if we consider 
the crank angle so increase in crank angle the delay period will always increases for that you can prefer the p theta diagram i already explained the p theta diagram uh, in previous lecture so uh, for that particular stage the fuel injection always cause unburnt charge for that particular stage the fuel injection cause unburnt charge during that particular condition next point is the air fuel ratio sorry it is engine size next point is the engine size uh, or the size of the engine if we are considering larger size engine so for those larger size engine we know the rpm we consider as less the rpm will be less for the larger size engine so uh, these uh, low rpm or less rpm is generally only because of inertia stress limitation inertia stress limitation is the cause for the less rpm and during this particular condition the delay period uh, we consider small in terms of crank angle the delay period will always small in terms of crank angle for that particular period and if the delay period is small in that condition the less fuel will enter uh, during that particular stage so if the less fuel will enter uh, so uh, it affect the combustion and uh, the uh, working of the engine will be smooth or uh, running of the this combustion engine compression ignition engine will be smooth in that particular condition during that engine size next point is the air fuel ratio so uh, this air fuel ratio we generally consider with increase in load so if we are considering increase in air fuel ratio the operating temperature will increase because of that air fuel ratio operating temperature will, will always increase with respect to increase in air fuel ratio which reduce the delay period but in case of leaner mixture if we are considering the air fuel ratio uh, or the mixture ratio will be leaner or uh, we can say in leaner mixture the fuel will be more so because of that it will reduce the maximum pressure which affect the performance of the engine but if we increase the air fuel ratio it will always decrease the delay period next is types of combustion chamber see uh, one thing i want to tell tell you about this types of combustion chamber that the delay period is always lower in pre combustion chamber here the delay period is always lower in pre combustion chamber and i will i will discuss the condition of combustion chamber uh, or how this combustion chamber affect the delay period in next lecture uh, or the lecture where we i will discuss the types of combustion chamber so this was all about the variable which affect the delay period uh, during the combustion in compression ignition engine thank you so much for watching and please subscribe the channel for more lectures